Good afternoon, I'm Ashley Larson. Today, we bring you this special report about a growing trend among community youth, which takes school pranking to a disturbing level. Super reporter Mike Shelby has a story on what are known as Cincinnati bow ties. From the look of it, this is your average sock. White, slightly dirty, gray at the heel and toe, but after a visit with wep weapons expert Ron Davis, we learned that this can be more than just a sock. I understand what you're trying to say, sir, but what we got here is not a Cincinnati bow tie, but rather a hot carl. Davis said if you excrete feces into a sock, like I have done, and then let that feces settle at the bottom, this becomes a Cincinnati bow tie a disgusting weapon of humiliation school kids across the area are becoming embarrassingly familiar with. Like freshman Kyle Turner, he's been Cincinnati bow tied three times this month by the same perpetrator. The most recent incident happened after school Tuesday. Turner was walking home with his grandmother when the perpetrator came charging at him, Cincinnati bow tie in hand. And he hit him. He hit him in the face with it, and I'm not happy. I'm steaming mad. According to linguistics professor Ivan Blair, Cincinnati bow tie can be a noun, a feces-filled sock, and also a verb, the act of striking a victim in the face with a sock filled with excreted feces. The verb Cincinnati bow tie conjugates just like the infinitive form of tie. Cincinnati bow tied, Cincinnati bow tying, but what you're talking about is not a Cincinnati bow tie. It's a hot Carl. But Kyle Turner isn't concerned with what it's called. He just wants to see it come to an end. Well, you know it's called a hot Carl, right? Not a Cincinnati bow tie. Turner's grandmother also has little concern for what the act is called. It's called a hot Carl. It's a Cincinnati bow tie when a guy sits. I'm back here super live at Kyle Turner School with Principal Dr. Kennedy. And Dr. Kennedy has seen firsthand the Cincinnati bow tie war go on almost daily in his hallways. Dr. Kennedy? Well, actually, I haven't. And I hardly term it a war. In fact, there have only been isolated incidences of this ever happening on school grounds. And by the way, it's not called a Cincinnati bow tie. It's called a hot Carl. Excuse me? It's called a hot Carl. It appears we're having an audio malfunction. Up next, an interview with a street walking prostitute whose boots cost more than her services. Risky. We'll be right back. <laughs> 